Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I'm gonna to share a fun project you can make with your kids for spring or St. Patrick's Day. This video is sponsored by Paper Mart. You can find them online at www.papermart.com. The first thing we're gonna do is take two large pieces of drawing paper or uh, photocopy paper and we're gonna draw a cloud on there. Now a cloud generally will have a like curvy puffy top and then be kind of uh, more flat along the bottom. So you just need to draw this on one of the sides. Then we're gonna hold these two pieces of paper together and we're going to cut just inside the outline. Just um, try not to let your paper slip apart. And if you have any bumpy edges, you can um, kind of smooth them out when you go to cut them. You just wanna cut off the entire black line. All right, so now we have two identical cloud pieces. The next thing we're going to do is make some uh, rainbow colored strips to come down from the cloud. Now you could use um, crepe paper streamers if you want, but I really like this corrugated paper from Paper Mart because it's a little more durable. And what I did to make the streamers with this, and if you're doing a full classroom full of kids or Sunday school kids, I would definitely just use streamers because it's gonna be easier. But um, I'm just kind of eyeballing about an inch and a half and just cutting off a strip of the folded paper so that when I unfold it, I'm gonna have a long strip. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is figure out how I wanna place them and I want them to be in rainbow order. So what I'm gonna do is set aside this top piece I'm gonna work on the inside of the bottom piece. And you can use tacky glue, you can use hot glue, um, you can use staples. I'm gonna use hot glue because I'm gluing this, but again, if you're working with children, you can either help them with that or you can give them some tacky glue uh, or a staple or whatever you feel more comfortable with and whatever you have enough of to outfit your class. I wouldn't recommend a glue stick just because they don't seem to hold very well and you don't want this falling apart once they get at home. So what I'm doing is just kind of spacing this apart. And it's better if you might even want to let the kids, if you're doing this with kids, work on the floor so they can um, kind of stretch everything out and see how it looks. All right, and I'm also going to want some area for some gold coins to dangle down, but you could also do raindrops if you don't want to do it for St. Patrick's Day and you just want to do a generic spring. So now that I have this laid out, I'm going to grab my hot glue gun and I am just going to attack down these little rainbow pieces with my hot glue. I'm leaving about a half an inch in between to account for the ribbon that I want to be dangling down. And I cut these the same size as streamers so that if you decided you wanted to use streamers instead it would still work out about the same. Okay, now I've got some pretty gold ribbon. I want this to be kind of St. Patrick's Day-ish. And I've got this pretty gold ribbon here. And so I am going to kind of pull off kind of a long piece because I want this first piece to be um, like a hanging ribbon as well. So what I'm gonna do is match my ends up here and tie a loop, just make a little knot here and that will protrude over the top of our little cloud. Just doing an overhand knot. Okay, that's gonna come out the top. And then these I'm gonna let dangle down um, kind of between a couple of these clouds, I think, like that. So again, with a hot glue, I'm just going to tack that down. You could maybe use glue dots for this if, uh, I'm not sure. If you have a nice strong bonding glue dot, that might work. I don't use glue dots too much because I work in a very cold area and I find that the that cold temperature helps and prevents them from bonding very well. And then I'm gonna put some strips of this down um, in between the other two colors. And I think I'll make these strips a little bit shorter. So I think I'll go like about a foot and a half for each of these. And the other ones are probably dangling down about two and a half feet. So I'm gonna cut three the same size. So it can kind of balance out a little bit. And I'm just gonna do a little dot of glue between each of these other pieces and stick these on top. It already looks cute and this is the wrong side. This is like the, the side that's going on the inside and already looks adorable. 
Okay, so now we want our cloud to be kind of puffy and I was trying to think of what I would use for like filler and I was gonna use newspapers, but then I realized I have all these like white plastic shopping bags. So what I'm gonna do is actually glue this down at the top. I'm gonna stuff it and then we'll put some, we'll put our bags in. So um, again, you can use you can use white glue. If you're using white glue, I recommend that you um, glue it and then maybe use some clothespins or paper clips to kind of hold it while it dries. And then I would, um, once it's completely dry, maybe the next day, then I would stuff it. But this is one of those, this is kind of the most uh, kind of patience testing part because you do have to wait for it to dry. This might be one where it might be worthwhile for you to glue your child's piece together or have a, you know, a couple parent volunteers if you're doing this in a classroom, just so that you don't have to wait and spread this out over two days if you don't want to. All right, we're gonna just line up those edges and press it down. And hot glue's gonna dry pretty instantly, and you can use a low temperature glue gun because this is just paper to paper. It's, uh, it doesn't need to be super high temperature. So while that's, that glue is setting, we're gonna make some gold coins to go to dangle from our um, from our ribbons, but you could also do this in blue or silver and make raindrop shapes. That would be really cute. I have a round punch, so I'm gonna use this, but you could always hand cut round circles. In fact, that might be a nice busy work activity if you are doing it with a group of kids. You could print circles on cardstock and have them hand cut them, and you know that might get buy you enough time to. Um, prepare the other parts of the lesson or do some gluing or whatever. I always try to think of those busy work pieces when I'm going to be working with kids. And I'm using just gold candy wrappers. And um, I think that's really, really nice looking. And these come in all different colors. They are from Paper Mart. They're little square shapes and they actually have a little tracing paper um, a separator in between each color. So I'm trying to think of a project that I can use with all these little like kind of glassine pieces. So if you guys have any ideas, please leave them in the comments below. I hate to waste. I love to find um, other ways to use my products. And I just try to, um, especially the leftover pieces. And I, I, if I see any silver parts, I'm just kind of folding them under so that our coin will look good from either side. But if you wanted it to be perfect, you could always um, put them together like that, but I think it's I think it actually reflects more with the crinkles So I'm gonna leave it that way again. All you do is fold The candy wrapper around and it holds its shape and it sticks to itself because it is a foil and um, It's pretty and another idea to do that do with this stuff is to like adhere it to cardstock and run it through your embossing folder And you could get some really cool um, kind of expensive looking foiled embossed design. So that's just another idea. If you end up getting a package of these, they're not very expensive, but you're going to have a ton of wrappers. <laughs> so you'll probably want some ideas to uh, to do with them. They come 125 in a package. So, you know, you're going to want some ideas. I think that's enough coins. All right. So now that this is dry, I am going to take my bags and I'm going to turn them inside out. So just in case any of it shows through, it'll have that extra layer of, um, of, you know, not printing, I guess. And I'm just going to start stuffing it with my bags. Oops, right there. Just be careful. If you have any gaps, you may have to go back in and kind of close them up later. You just want to give this kind of a, a puffy look. So you won't be able to overstuff it. It's not going to take that much, but hey, it's a great way to use these, these shopping bags. For the, you know, those times you forgot to bring your, your regular bags to the store. See if I can get. I don't know if I can get that one in there. I might just need to rework these. And you know what? I know a lot of places ban shopping bags. So if you don't have shopping bags, use newspaper. That's fine. Any newspaper will work. Even you could even actually use your brown paper shopping bags. Just um, just crumple them up. Or you could even paint your brown brown shopping bags white and use it for the cloud if you want. I'm all about recycling. Okay, now I am just going to go right along, trying, trying to make sure my ribbon stays flat, putting a layer of glue right along here, the bottom edge of my cloud, as neatly as I can. And then I'm just going to press this, and you will need to hold it a little bit, but you can hold it above where you put the glue so you don't burn yourself. But again, this is not, that this part right here is not for kids to do if you're using hot glue. If you're using white glue, then like, I would recommend like a thick and tacky glue, then maybe um, put a piece of wax paper and a book down on top so it can hold it um, squished shut while it dries. So that's really important if you are going to use a, a tacky glue to you to have like clothespins or clips or books or something that you can use to hold it together as it dries. 
All right, I think that's gonna hold now. So we got our puffy cloud and we got our lovely rainbow. And now we're gonna glue our coins onto the golden strips. And of course, you know, if you don't like the look of that, you don't have to do it. I'm gonna start at the bottom because I don't know how many I'm gonna want. So I think I'll just start at the bottom and work my way up. And you only need a tiny drop. I put way too much on that one. And it's when you get too much glue, that's when you end up burning yourself. So word to the wise, don't do what I just did. Let's do that. And this uh, this lame ribbon is a little sheer, so be careful that you don't that you don't um, burn yourself. I'm just making the pretty side on the side that um, that is going rainbow order, but you know it's completely up to you. It's it even, it's even pretty on the back side. You I mean not a big deal at all. Once the glue is dry, you can hang it by its top loop in a window because it's going to be pretty from both sides, in the middle of a room, from the ceiling, or even on a wall. It's going to look great no matter where you decide to hang it. Hope you tried this project. Let me know if you do in the comments below and let me know how it turned out. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, Paper Mart. You can find them online at www.papermart.com. Packaging for less. Thanks for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.